Right. Any significance of the bamboo tree right here? Of course, yeah. The bamboo trees are used for, we use them for houses. You know, we don't need to get uh, trees, the European antennas, for, to get signal to get our television. We use bamboo tree for those things. Oh, unique, I'm telling you. Everything is here in Africa, family. Hmm? We have everything on our continent, everything that we need. Everything. And so everybody team up to this. Those are one of our holy calabashes in here. Uh, when we go there, sometimes waters are there and people can use this water and like kind of washing their body, you know, for kind of protection. Because uh, that's what our people were meant to be believe psychologically and it works for our people. In those days there was no like hospitals or, or, or medical uh, or healthcare system where people would go and check their blood to right. see what's happening to them. But anytime they feel they're not feeling all right, they would just go directly to the only calabashes like that. And also there's always a water there and they just just take water and they would just do pray like I wanna get healed. If I'm sick, if something bad is going to happen, let us go like away, and they wash up ready, and these things go off. Yeah, everything goes off. Mm. And that's the reason why even this crocodile pool is even here. It is more than 500 years when this crocodile pool being been in here. It was founded by, it was founded by a family. Don't go too close to the head, okay? Yeah, Come back. with the mouth open, that's how the crocodile cool down, like dog panting. Yeah. And um, this crocodile pool has been here for more than 500 years, simply because the first, the first family that came to this particular village, these are called the Bojan family. This Bojan family originally came from Mali Empire. And in Mali, you know, there was a lot of, they, Mali, Mali was owned by the Mandinkos. And when these Mandinkos, and then later the Fulani people came, that's why if you look at the Fulani people in Africa, just like her color, uh -huh. you know, uh, simply because most of the Fulani originated came from Ethiopia, Tanzania, uh, and Kenya, and all the sub countries in those areas, because after 1,400 years, when Prophet Muhammad passed away, so one of his harvests, he sent them to this East country, East Africa, to, to convert this message. So when they came, they settled down there, they got intermarried with Africans there. Mm -hmm. So these were the Fulani people were the first in Africa to accept Islam. So from there, when they came, they moved down to Mali, West Africa, they met these Mandinkos. Then the Mandinkos were not in any religion. All they believe, all the, all the spiritual powers they have, you know. So the Fulani were trying to convert these people to come to Islam, but it was tough. So they have not, no way easy to break these people down, so they have to go to war. So when the war break out, so many people die. So some of the people run away, came from Mali Empire, they come down to the southern part of Senegal, in Casamas, and some make it to the Gambia. So this is where this family, the Bojan, came settled here in this place. So when they came, their two, their father and the two sons and, a, and a one daughter, and when they came, there was no human habitants. So, and there was a lot of palm trees, and these people, they are palm tapas. And secondly, their professor was a, their fisherman. You know, so these here to the fish, to the beach, is about 10 minutes walk. So they said, well, we can settle down here. So when they came, they found the place here, the, the pool. This was a small well, very small well, about two meters. So they said, well, we, we don't need to go, we stay. But in Africa, all the time, even today, the sister from the family will do the domestic job. You know, with divorcing bowls, cooking food, or go to the market, or go to the well or taps to get water. So the sister from this Bojan family, her name is called Mai. She came, because they lived inside there, so she went there to fetch water inside that well, because the well was in the middle, right there. So one morning, when she came to fetch water, she saw a strange woman who sat very near to the, to the well and she was looking so much worried and she asked her, what is the trouble? The woman said, my baby fell down to the well, I need support. And they said, okay, no worries, two brothers are here, I'll call them to come and help you. She ran to call the two brothers, they are called Tamba and Jali. When they came, Jali was the younger brother who went down to the well. 
and inside the well where the baby is, there was a big rock there and this baby was sitting on that rock. So to, to pick this baby up, to bring it out, in Mandinko, we call it Kachika. 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 That's how Kachika. they, 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 they Kachika. pick something up. So that's called the whole area now. It's called Kachika. Mm. That's from Mandinko language. Okay. So the woman was so happy, the mother of the child, and she said to them, look, thank you very much for supporting me, but I do this for good reason. I put my baby in here to test you people, to see how good you are. And then I find you good because you help me. But I will tell you something about this well that you don't know. The water of this well will never go dry. And this is a holy place. The water has a spiritual power that's called black magic power. This will be a healing water for people, successful water for people in life. But at the time, there was no crocodile at all. The mother told them, you will see crocodiles in here sooner or later but do not try to find out how the crocodile came about. All you need to promise me, are you gonna look after this crocodile good? And the three family members, the two brother and the sister, promise, yes, we will. So the woman just disappeared, they never see her again. Mm. After three months, Mike came back to fetch water and she saw two small crocodiles there. And she was scared. She forget about the promise and the talk what they did with the woman. And she ran back to the family and said, look, I find the crocodile there. So the other brother said, oh yeah, that's the crocodile the woman said. So they all come to incense, realize that yeah, this was the promise the woman said it would be crocodile here. So now it's uh, their job to look after this crocodile with their deed up to my generation. This is 500 years ago. Mm. So year in, year out, the crocodiles, they reproduce by making eggs. And even today, people are coming here to pray, especially women. Those are barren. They do not have a child. Right. They mm. come here. When they come, in that small house there, the enclosement there, mm -hmm. there's a bucket there and a calabash. And when the women came, I will go there, I will get the water, and the women will go there, they do this privately, and they have to wash their brother with the water. And they'll go back with their men, no cheating from any one of them, and they will lock it our baby. Mm. How do we know? Because we advise them. When the woman have a baby, either a boy or a girl, the baby have to get a middle name called Kachikali. And right in this village, we got hundreds of kids that are called Kachikali. So it helps tell us that it works. Because something that you believe in the head, psychologically, it helps to work for you. Mm -hmm. But also, holy places like this, we believe it when we are kids. Because what happened? Most of the time, our grandparents, mm -hmm. they always pray for our good future our success in future. So they are the one busy and go to the holy place to pray for our future. So when they're going, they hold our hands like this. We go pray. When you go, you say, pray, pray, pray. You pray. So you grow up with this in your mind, the belief is still stick there. Mm -hmm. So you have to get respect for it. Mm -hmm. So that's why people of this country, not only this village, but this country have much respect for this place. And now what happened? It never stopped. Now it go beyond to the border. I'm seeing people come from Europe or America, they saw this in the internet, they want to come try their luck. And most of the time, it works for them. Mm. Yeah, mm. it works for them before. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Healing. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Who's going to be the first person to cover that? This one right here. <laughs> Oh no, the light snack. Oh no, uh, very light okay. snack. Uh, <laughs> it's a different, um, different technology and size. Then the second, the mama be the second, and so on and so forth. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know they're running all around. We've been talking about crocodiles on there. Literally, show you that we are really at a crocodile pool. <laughs> Yeah, just come around the water to be on the bank, uh, just to look for the sun. When they feel, feel. You just have to be careful because as you see, fam, you can slide on down. Yeah. When it's hot, then they go back. Come on, this one you to hit and then start walking. So what if you pull a crocodile tail right now? Uh, just to make it work. <laughs> Just to make it it's work for you, I can just take the video of See, family, I'm not that brave. Come <laughs> <laughs>
But it's also the nature of um, how the animals are, are fed if you if they're used to eating vegetables and fish. Oh wow. <laughs> are they sleeping? Not really. She said not really. Bite it. Here she comes.